Yo, what is going on, you Slackers? I am your host, Slackers Gaming, bringing you the next episode in the tournament that I created on the channel, you know, just for fun, to gauge interest in, you know, what characters, I guess, the community kind of thinks about, you know, that has the best chance, so I made this little tournament, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, every day I upload at least one of these, except for Sundays, I do something different on Sundays, but I will upload a uh, one matchup every day. And then um, give some pros, and then you guys vote in the comments. And let me know who you guys think, who has the better chance between the two. And uh, yeah, with that being said, um, we will get into today's matchup, which is going to be game number 11. We're already at game 11. That's it's moving pretty quick. It's moving pretty quick. I like that. But um, before we get into today's matchup, we do have to go over uh, last week's uh, winner, or last week's matchup. And uh, that is one thing, if you're new to the series... You have, uh, I, I leave the voting open for one week from, from one to, uh, well, yeah, one seven-day period, basically. And then the voting gets cut off. So uh, last week's matchup was Paper Mario versus Mon Monster Hunter. And I'll have to say, when I first made the matchup, uh, when I made the bracket, and these two got paired up with each other, I thought this matchup would be a lot closer. I really did. But to be honest, it, it wasn't. Paper Mario absolutely destroyed Look at that, 22 to 6. Monster Hunter didn't stand a chance. Maybe that's just because people don't even expect Monster Hunter at all. There's, a f like, a few other third-party characters. I, I guess I can understand that. But Paper Mario, 22 to 6. Wow. Yep, get rid of that. I don't need that anymore. 22 to 6. That is nuts. So Paper Mario, moving on. Uh, let's see, we're 16 C. Just making a few notes here. Nuts. 22 to 6. Not, that's not, not even, like, a... Wasn't even a challenge. Monster Hunter is like it didn't even show up. But then again, like I said, it's probably because people don't expect them. I mean, that's what this tournament's kind of about. It's who would you expect in the matchup to, um, to actually win and move on? So, game five, I gotta make Monster Hunter go down here. All right, Monster Hunter. Let's see, number sixteen. There we go. All right, cool. Done with that. So today's matchup. Finally, we can get into it. Um, is game 11 right here decidui versus rex and pyra now um i could have put rex by himself but i decided rex and pyra seem to be like the you know more popular opinion for when people are talking about a new xenoblade rep so i just kind of paired them together make it more sense so let's get into today's episode so decidui from the pokemon series the uh, final starter of the grass evolution uh rowlet uh, probably one of the more iconic, more recognizable Pokemon from Generation 7. It's, uh, I think it was pretty much overall the, or maybe not overall, but I think it was more the, the favorite starter out of, uh, the three for Gen 7. So, I mean, he's got that going for, extremely popular. He's already been in, uh, Pokin Tournament or Pokin DX, whatever that is. He's been in the Pokin fighting games. So, I mean, the popularity is obviously there. I mean, moveset is easy to make for any Pokemon character, um, I mean, th like, one thing that I could really kind of, I guess, would say, like, that could hinder Decidueye's chances would be, uh, how are, how is Sakurai and his team looking at Pokemon this time around, and are they really looking at Gen 7, knowing that's, like, in the rearview mirror, or, and are they gonna look forward to Gen 8 and wait for, like, um, you know, the uh, Pokemon company to release, you know, uh, some sort of Pokemon from Gen 8 that will kind of maybe be the face of Gen 8, if that makes sense, you know? And they'll solely focus on Gen 8. That way, um, it, obviously, the Gen 8 Pokemon would be DLC, wouldn't be in the initial roster. But, um, I mean, that's just an argument, you know? It'd just help kind of generate more hype for uh, Gen 8 when it finally does come out. So I guess that you kind of got that going against Decidueye. But, I mean, Decidueye, pretty much hands down, when you talk about a new Pokemon rep, I think it's... Probably like the front runner for what people are really expecting uh, to be the new rep in Pokemon, and I'm on that train as well. Uh, I I do think Decidueye has the best chance out of all Pokemon. Um, the another thing people are like, oh well, you could have done like the 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 trio starters, you know, you could have had Charizard for the fire, Greninja for the water, but that kind of got thrown out of the window once Pokemon Trainer came back. It's pretty cool, but also not because I like Charizard just as a solo character. But, different debate. But, uh, yeah, Decidueye definitely got to be, I think, the front runner for Pokemon. 
And Decidueye, I think, has a really good chance at going far in this tournament. But going on to Decidueye's opponent, Rex and Pyra from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. This one is a bit tricky to me. Uh, I think there's very, very, very good potential for Rex and Pyra. Maybe Rex and, as a solo, or maybe Rex, Pyra, and Mithra somehow, you know, all kind of combined into the moveset and, you know, they play off each other and that kind of stuff like they did in the game. I can see that happening, but the the one thing that I really, truly believe that um, hinders any Xenoblade character too, I guess just pretty much Rex, Pyra, and Mithra, what I believe hinders their chance the most is when the game finally went into development uh, to alongside with um, Smash uh, Smash Ultimates, you know, you know uh, when Sakurai came up with the game plan and all that stuff, which was end of 2015, and uh, I think at that time, Rex and Pyra and Mithra, they didn't even have, like, their final, uh, like, character designs, if I remember correctly, so, I mean, not even knowing what the characters look like, and maybe, maybe Sakura didn't even know about the characters yet, so... He could have been, if he was thinking about adding anything or anybody new from the Xenoblade franchise, you could probably say Elma from Chronicles X would make the most sense. But uh, I, it, this one is tough to me. Uh, I can see Decidueye and Rex and Pyra all being playable characters. But if I had to pick one, I think my vote, I think Decidueye would make more sense for the initial roster. Again, I could see Rex and Pyra coming in as DLC, being extremely, you know, popular and, you know, uh, recommend, not recommended, but um, <clears throat> I guess considered or speculated by the fan base. I could really see them being uh, DLC characters down the line. Uh, I mean, big game, big franchise. It's been getting uh, a couple games the last few years. It had the uh, Chronicles X on the Wii U, and then, of course, Xenoblade 2 on... Uh, Switch, very fun games, very awesome games. But yeah, this one was a tough one for me. I did go with uh, Decidueye. I think Decidueye would make um, a better case to make the initial roster. Uh, but yeah, I could see Rex and Pyra end up being DLC characters later on. But for this matchup, like I said a few times already, Decidueye is my vote. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. As usual, um, that's how you vote. Just who do you think between these two characters, Decidueye or Rex and Pyro? Who do you think is the more likely to be in the main roster? And if you can't decide, I mean, I, I totally understand it, but you know, don't worry if you um, if you really like both characters. One will move on in the winners bracket. The other one will go down to the loser bracket. So they're not out of the tournament. They will still have a sh uh, second chance. So don't worry about that too much. So they will have a second chance. Whoever ends up losing this one, unfortunately, somebody will. But, uh, yeah, my vote, again, Decidueye. I think um, Pokemon always seems to get a new rep. Decidueye's got to be the leading candidate, in my opinion. Maybe some other people disagree. Um, and that's fine. That's totally fine. But I think Decidueye for this one. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as usual. And hopefully we catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.